Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the Saturn Retrograde video. In this video, we're going to take a look at Saturn's retrograde. He will be retrograde for a few months starting very soon. I will give you the exact dates. We're looking at about mid-June to early November. He will be retrograde for that entire time. And I'm going to talk you through for each sign what that means for you. And I'm just looking at the screen above the lens and it's showing a very orange color here. I'll try to correct this in post editing if I can. But the reason the color is all strange is because it's still bright outside. It's 9 p.m. I think it's about 10 past nine. Actually, let me just tell you what yeah just about just about 10 past nine and it is so bright outside I can't believe it I can't I can't wait because I'm gonna have to wait till 10 o'clock and if I start recording this video at 10 o'clock it will be midnight probably before I sleep so I thought I'm just gonna record it now and it's just gonna look a little bit strange for a little while but that's okay this is this is Saturn retrograde I'm sure Saturn doesn't mind if the color is a little bit incorrect. All right, let's take a look. So from 18th June to 3rd November, we are going to have Saturn retrograde in the sky. Now, is this a problem? Is this something to be worried about? No, not at all. When Saturn retrogrades, it's, well, firstly, it's a very slow and gradual thing. Everything Saturnian is slow and gradual and takes time. The other thing is that when, when Saturn retrogrades, one of the beautiful things about it is that he doesn't have as much direct contact with the sun. So let's say the Earth is here, the sun is here, Saturn's out here. When the retrograde is happening, I think Saturn is actually really quite happy because the Earth is blocking the sun. And as we know from studying the relationships of the planets, Saturn and the Sun, they're not the best of friends, are they? they? Saturn doesn't particularly like the Sun too much. So this is actually great for your Saturnian energy. If you've got a lot of Saturnian energy in your chart or if it's a significant planet for you, this is actually really good because Saturn feels like he can just get on with it. He feels less restricted. He doesn't have any you know gaze of the sun or any of that or there's no contact so i think saturn feels a lot more comfortable to just get on and achieve a lot of stuff so in an overall sense that is how you can use this energy going forward if you want to be more productive at this time it is quite possible i have when I've observed this in the past with clients, especially clients who are self-employed, they have reported back and told me uh, that, you know, across the months when Saturn is retrograde, that is actually when they get more business or they build important projects that, you know, carry them through for the other part of the year and things like that. Another thing I have seen Saturn retrograde do in the chart of a friend of mine actually who she ended up having a baby. She wasn't intending to have a baby but she wanted me to go through her chart and to look at what the stars were doing and what it was like around the time when she conceived. And it was so interesting because Saturn had just retrograded back to be, I didn't know if you saw that little flicker of the light, Saturn had retrograded back to be uh, fifth from her moon. He'd just gone into that fifth from her moon house. And it's so interesting on that retrograde, that little portion where he was retrograding back into her fifth from the moon and he was going forward again, in that little portion, it's like, you know, he materialized a baby. <laughs> it's so incredible because fifth from the moon, fifth from ascendant, fifth from moon, that can be really uh, important when we're looking at conceiving and things like that. And for my friend's chart, I could see that that Saturn retrograde motion was really key. It was almost like Saturn was saying, 
popping back into the house and sort of saying, oh, by the way, you forgot something. I wanted to give you this, you know, and then and then off he goes on his journey. So I have seen Saturn retrograde do some incredible things. If there are opportunities that you feel that you lost, you know, maybe you've got a second chance at that. Uh, that's another way of looking at a Saturn retrograde. Now Saturn is going to station, I've got here on the 17th of June, the software really does indicate 17th of June is when Saturn will station. But I'm going to count kind of from the 17th of June, even to the 20th of June, basically he's at 13 degrees, one minute of arc for 17th June to 20th June. So when Saturn stations, Another thing that people believe there is that the karmic accountant is not working. So he's stationary. So if you want to do something naughty, you can. Uh, I don't know what that would be, but yeah, that, that's something to bear in mind. Now we've got here, um, Saturn is going to be covering, yeah, what ground is he covering? He is covering the same ground that he covered. So because so Saturn is retrograding, right? So he's going to be going back over old ground that he's already gone through. He's done one pass through and then he's going to go back over that chunk of time. So the chunk of time you want to look at in your own life is March of this year to 18th June this year. So think about that portion of time. If there's something that you missed or that you would like to go back and correct or that you want to have another shot at or any of those kinds of things, Saturn is covering that old ground again. So you might have another opportunity. You might have another chance at something. So March this year to 18th June, you've got another shot here. Now all of this time Saturn will be retrograding in Aquarius and for most of the time he will be in Satyabhishak Nakshatra. From 15th October he is dipping back into Dhanishta Nakshatra. Now what's the difference here between Satyabhishak Nakshatra and Dhanishta Nakshatra? So in Satyabhishak Saturn is lauded by Rahu. And I think that the focus here, Saturn's focus here is definitely on being more realistic. He's being real, he's being grounded, sticking up for rights. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of protest and a lot of all this kind of thing going on, a lot of humanitarian stuff going on, but there's a realism here. There's not a lot of fantasy thinking or any of that. This, this is time to get real. And then, the other thing, when we've got Saturn dipping into Dhanishta Nakshatra from 15th October through to about, say, 3rd November, and then he'll go forward again where he's still in Dhanishta, he'll enter, re enter Satyabhishak Nakshatra. But that portion where he's in Dhanishta Nakshatra, that is lauded by Mars. And the notes I have here is that money and ego are going to be more dominant factors. So we can see that, you know, October, November, these might be more difficult months on the world stage for this reason, because Saturn Mars will have that kind of, whenever I see Saturn Mars, it's this kind of, you know, one wants to go, the other's saying stop. There can be a sort of 90 degree angle type feeling here, uh, you know. So there could be some difficulties there, but I feel like Saturn in Satyabhishak Nakshatra, this is actually good energy. I do like Saturn in Satyabhishak Nakshatra. Satyabhishak, let's not forget, is, you know, it has this collective healing energy in it. And this, of course, being an Aquarius, Aquarius is all about you know, humanitarian type endeavors. This is a really good time to be doing any kind of healing work. If you want to work in a community or with a community, you want to start a community, this is a really great time for all those kind of activities. So yeah, the final note I have here is really think back to the ground that you have already covered from March to now and if I look at my march to now I came back here and I did a huge amount of cleaning and clutter clearing and organizing and you know getting 
getting back on top of things. So I definitely feel, I feel free now to get on with projects, to get on with creativity, making stuff, getting back to the channel, you know, making more content. I haven't been making as much content lately. Uh, I want to get back to that. So I kind of feel like this Saturn retrograde energy for me personally, I think this is going to be good because, you know, it has taken me that long from March to about now to feel a little bit organized and a little bit on top of everything. So I feel on top of everything now. Uh, but yeah, it's quite interesting. So I, I, I think I've got here, think back to what ground you've covered. If, you, if you're ready for new things, then this can be the time to get ahead. Yeah, and I personally am feeling that. I'm feeling like I've now got time to just move forward with projects on the channel, things like that. Just today I recorded this Archetypes episode. I'm going to start a new series here on the channel where we're going to look at different archetypes, the astrology of different archetypes. I think that's going to be really interesting. I've got here, this could be a time of other people bringing back old issues to you. So some people, they might come back in or try to bring up some old thing or, you know, uh, if, but it, equally it could be you. It, you might look back over this period and think that, you know, what you would have liked to have done. And maybe you're going to have the time to do that now. That's another thing. So that's like this archetype series. I've always wanted to do this series, but I've just never had the time. So it's a project that I've had on my mind for a long, long time. I'm finally now getting the time to do it. Well, I hope I am. I recorded one today, so I'll edit it and launch that soon. But yeah, guys, I, I think this is going to be a good Saturn retrograde. And for a lot of people, you know, the, f the first three years of Saturn being in his own two houses, three years of Saturn being in Capricorn, 2020 to 2023, gosh, that's been tough. So some people are going to be experiencing some new forward movement now since a long time, you know, and, and, and if that's you, you're not alone. Uh, it, it might be that you haven't had forward momentum since, you know, three and a half years or so. Yeah, that's, that's quite possible. Uh, and if that's the case, don't you worry, you will catch up. Saturn is a great planet of catching people up. The rewards are delayed, but it's like he doesn't forget. And if you've been clocking up a lot of rewards over a long time, it's not like he gives you a tiny little bit of reward. Oh, no, no, no. He'll give you whatever you've been clocking up over a long period of time. He'll give it to you. I have seen this happen so many times. So always work in the Saturnian way, which is a little bit each day, one to four hours of high quality work per day. Do it consistently. And, you know, it's that compound interest thing. And it really builds up into something big and special. All right. Well, are you ready to begin the mini reports? I'm ready. Wow, that looks really orange, doesn't it? I'll, I'll try and do something <laughs> in the... Um, I don't know why it's doing that. Do you know, it might be the manual settings on this camera. I might have to do something. I'll tinker with it. Let me just see if I can sort this out. Hi everyone, I think I fixed the color issue. I put the camera on to manual mode and that's something I've been doing now. I discovered that recently in Pick a Card that, oh, I have manual mode on this camera and I've changed the color a little bit. Let's see what happens, I don't know. And I've just blinded myself because I was looking up at my lamp. <laughs> so I'm like blinking and squinting. All right, enough faffing around. Let's get on with the show. So Aries. Aries, welcome. This is Aries, Ascendant, Aries Moon or Aries Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So where is Saturn retrograding for you? Now Saturn is retrograding in your 11th house and in this retrograde sweep that he will do from, now it's June to November, isn't it? So June to November, he could be going back for a missed opportunity. Okay, it could be a social thing as well if you missed out, if you felt like you missed out on something from March to June of this year. Don't you worry because Saturn is going back and 
you know you might be able to do something that you you wanted to do uh, this is a good time to be picking up new followers new subscribers or broadening your network circles any of that this could also be opportunities for wealth and abundance if there was something you feel you missed out on because you were busy doing something else again this is good energy for that now Saturn's third aspect on your first house of self could actually be energizing your physical body that is possible it could also be and I'm just double checking here Saturn is really technically a malefic for you but he is in the 11th house so he is providing you really good energy because he's transiting that 11th house where he's typically happy but just take care with your physical body you might find that you're either energized by this retrograde or you might find that it could be a little bit draining it also depends on how you've been looking after your physical body as well so if you've been doing a good job if you've been eating well looking after yourself all of that good stuff a little bit of light exercise now and then if you've been doing all of that you should be fine but you could find that this is a time where you might it's possible for you to be a little bit drained uh, or that you go slower or something like that the other thing that this is Saturn's third aspect on your first house it's a good time to just improve your diet or your fitness routine if you have dropped off a fitness routine it's a very good time to pick that up now Saturn's seventh aspect on your fifth house of children and creativity this could give you more time with your children okay um, but equally this is your creativity so this could be more time with your passion projects with those things that you do that you just love to do you don't notice the time being spent as you do them you might get more time to do those things that you really love so look out for that Saturn's 10th aspect on your 8th house could be exposing hidden agendas of people around you uh, and it could also be helping you to review your finances or your shared assets or restructure something financial that's connected with you and your family or, or something along those lines but Aries you've got Saturn in your 11th house so keep enjoying that beautiful energy because overall you've got terrific Saturnian energy so just keep on enjoying it all right we are now going to welcome Taurus Taurus welcome thank you so much for joining I'm just checking the color of the screen it's okay it's not as orange as it was apologies I didn't go and get like a fake tan or anything like that I'm Indian I'm tan all year round come on uh, all right anyway so Taurus this is Taurus ascendant Taurus moon or Taurus sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology so where is Saturn retrograding for you it's retrograding in your 10th house so you could be reworking some project at work or something some project at work maybe you thought you were done with that but it's going to call you back and it's going to need your attention again or you know something might require you at work to go back and deal with it again possibly now this is also quite good energy actually because Saturn is a benefic for you and you could start a project that you've always wanted to do if there's a project that you thought gosh I would love to do that this could be the time where you actually get to do that kind of work now Saturn's third aspect on your 12th house of spirituality could bring some much needed possibly discipline to your sleeping patterns and or your meditation routines or anything where let's say you don't have a daily spiritual practice you might put one in now okay that would be a really good thing to do Saturn's third aspect will help you maintain that and that's going to be a really good thing for you now Saturn's seventh aspect on your fourth house of home could help you to do repairs to your home or it could even help you get the money that you need as well to make that repair as well renovation or something like that if there's work needed at home you should have time and attention and money to deal with that 
Now Saturn's 10th aspect on your 7th house of partnership could be bringing structure to your relationship with your partner. Also if you are let's say there's someone on the scene maybe you're seeing them but you know you don't know what's going on um, Saturn will want you to establish a proper commitment with that person there's something about commitment energy here now if it's not a partner uh, if you're single and you know maybe and maybe you don't particularly want to partner up this is still commitment energy it's like Saturn wants you to commit so you could be committing to your spiritual practices you could be committing to uh, more to your work as well so there's quite a range of things going on here but overall Taurus this is quite good energy for you as I say Saturn is a benefit for you you have got the potential to achieve a lot over the next several months so I'm wishing you well Taurus and we are now going to welcome Gemini so this is Gemini Ascendant, Gemini Moon or Gemini Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So Saturn is retrograding in your ninth house and this could be bringing up some issues in relationship with your father, your boss or with authority in general. Now if these are in good shape, okay, your relationship with your father, your boss or with authority in general, this is actually good because you can there's something about this energy which could be promoting you or you could be stepping up or you could be taking taking on more responsibility if you don't have too many issues in these areas but if there are issues in these areas you will get another opportunity you'll get another go round to see if you can uh, get some improvements in those areas and this is to do with this is Saturn in your ninth house this is a lot about power authority your own authority you taking on more inner authority you know um, you being able to take more responsibility in life you being able to lead more it's all that kind of thing now Saturn's third aspect on your 11th house of gains could bring a missed opportunity your way again uh, and it could give you new ways to expand your network so circles or your social media platforms or something like that. Now Saturn's seventh aspect on your third house of effort and courage, I'm going to call it, could inspire structures and plans for new projects that will require time to build. You might be getting some ideas on where you want to invest your effort your personal effort where do you want that to go you could be getting ideas you could be structuring something new here and Saturn's 10th aspect on your sixth house of service could bring you energy it could bring you physical energy now I do think it could because this is a benefit for you Saturn likes transiting through the sixth so I do think this should be good for you energetically. This is physical energy. Uh, it could also bring new business your way, could bring ideas on next steps in career, could bring um, you know, success in a legal case or something like that. That is possible. This is one to observe. It's either doing all those good things or this is also sixth house of physical health. So some of you might feel that it's tiring or draining. It's one to observe is what I'm saying here, okay? But ultimately I'm seeing that this, this should be good energy for you, Gemini. And overall, I think this whole transit of Saturn being in the ninth house, this is very much about you, you realizing that you can do it on your own and you stepping up, you taking more responsibility, you not looking to anyone else but doing it yourself. Uh, what else have we got here? Ninth house. You're taking your power back. It's amazing Gemini. I am wishing you well. Enjoy this time and the other thing is let's not forget Saturn is just happy 
that he doesn't have to deal much with the sun, right? We've got <laughs> we've got the earth here and we've got the sun here. And Saturn is, you know, the earth is blocking. So fantastic. Um, Saturn's just generally a bit happier over these months, I think. All right, Gemini. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now going to welcome Cancer. Cancer, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Cancer Ascendant. Cancer Moon or Cancer Sun, as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now Saturn is retrograding in your eighth house. And this Saturn can help you restructure your finances and shared assets. That's one way that that could play out. This is ultimately though, I, I do th see this as being tiring energetically. I have heard from some of you in the comments below You've mentioned that, yeah, I've got, uh, I think you've mentioned that Saturn is eighth from your moon, I think. I remember reading somebody talk about this and they were saying that Saturn eighth from, I'm tired all the time. Yeah, it, it can be like that. Um, Saturn moving through a watery place is, and the eighth house is watery, right? Per house, that's watery. So fourth, eighth, and twelfth; these are watery places. That can be tiring physically. That 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 can be just tough. So don't push it. Don't overwork. Look after your physical body. Rest. Really, really, really important. So either you're you know restructuring your finances and assets, or other people's money, or you're dealing with those things. Yep, that's true. But physically, it could just be tiring. So look out. For those things the other thing that it could be doing is it could be exposing like the hidden agendas of people around you as well or you're becoming more insightful or you're figuring things out that kind of thing could be happening here too i'm just checking the lighting yeah it's okay sorry i had a lighting problem earlier cancer i don't know if you were uh with me there in aries some of you might know if you're watching the whole video you would know just checking. I think it's okay. Let's continue. All right. Um, what have we got going on here? So third aspect. Yeah, let's take a look at this. So Saturn's third aspect on your 10th house of career. This could bring some new opportunities your way work-wise. The other thing that this could do is it could take you back to a work issue or a work project. And you might think, oh, surely I completed that. But there could be something that takes you back and you have to delve into that again. The other thing is, you've got Saturn 8th from here, all of life is being transformed all around you. So yeah, there's, it's hard to be grounded. It's watery. It's like the, the ground is water. So it's like, how do you be grounded at this time? Yeah, th this is not easy. You're going through a really, really transformational phase. So if you're feeling that, don't, don't worry. Know that this time will change. It will come to an end. One of the things I've discovered is when I'm in a tough transit, this has been the thing, astrology has saved me so much because it has helped me see that these tough times, they, they really do come to an end and the energy really does change. So you just got to hang in there when it's tough. That's all. Now Saturn's seventh aspect on your second house of finances could bring about the discipline you need to save money for yourself okay to save money for rainy days now the other thing i want to make clear here is that saturn will oppose saturn across july and august so be careful of potentially racking up credit card debt at that time if you can avoid that brilliant but know that you know july and august could be just um difficult months when it comes to finances and money and things like that now Saturn's 10th aspect on your fifth house of creativity and children could give you more time to spend on passion projects or doing things that you really love and it could also give you more time with your children as well because there is some delay energy whenever there's a delay that's a gift of time use that time for some fifth house matter something that you really love there cancer all right well thank you so much for tuning in and we are now going to welcome Leo. Leo welcome thank you so much for joining. So this is Leo ascendant Leo moon or Leo sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now Saturn is retrograding in your seventh house. Wow yes yeah, a big time. So this could be restructuring your relationship with your partner uh, 
or if you're in a relationship what you're going to feel here is you're just going to feel like you're being tested in love a lot it's like wow I'm, i keep being tested you know or my buttons keep being pressed or what is this why is this happening it's because of saturn um he's, he's just kind of pressing your buttons type thing uh, if you are not in a partnership, let's have a think about this. Saturn could be testing your commitment to something. He could be testing your commitment to your path, testing your commitment to the divine as well, depending on where you are on your spiritual path, your spiritual journey. I've got here, yeah, there's something about you being tested in love or in commitments this kind of thing so take care in your relationships with others now saturn's third aspect on your ninth house of authority could actually be making you doubt yourself yeah because saturn is a malefic energy for you guys so saturn's third aspect in your ninth house it, it could be making you doubt your leadership capabilities or um, or your inner authority or your sense of personal authority. Saturn third aspect here, there could be situations that are challenging that. And this could be connected with love as well. I've got here the note, take your power back and decide, right? So that, that's an interesting uh, bit of guidance that came through there. But it, yeah, you, you might doubt yourself here and there. Saturn seventh aspect on your fir first house of self can bring discipline back to your fitness routines or your diet. So if you were on a fitness routine and you were doing great at it, but it dropped off, these months are a good time to pick that back up. Good time to clean up your diet or change your diet. And I've got here that you might feel tired at times, so definitely rest. That Saturnian aspect on your first house of physical body, that could be tiring, that could be draining. So don't overdo it, don't push yourself. Saturn's 10th aspect on your fourth house of home may highlight areas of the home that need repair or upgrading. And it's a good time to get on top of home stuff. So if you haven't had a chance to do clutter clearing organizing, cleaning, you know, the big deep cleaning that a place needs that I have spent like the last few months doing all this cleaning, organizing, like, yeah, so I'm on top of all my stuff here. But if, if you are not on top of your stuff, Leo, uh, get on top of that. that this, this retrograde period might be a period that gives you some delay energy here and there where things move a bit slower or things aren't happening at the speed you'd like it to. But the delay is a gift of time and you can use that for things like getting organized getting on top of stuff so leo i hope this is going to be okay for you just yeah take care in love life um and remember that there is one perfect love out there that is always available to us and that always loves us and that is divine love that is always there. That, this dawned on me the other day. I was like, oh yeah, because I was watching someone talk about their NDE and oh my goodness, it was an amazing story. Anyway, but it made me realize that there is always love available all the time. It's the divine. It's always there. All right, Leo, well, thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now going to welcome, I'm just checking the light. I think it's okay. Yeah, I, I'll keep the camera settings like this. We are now going to welcome Virgo. Hi, Virgo. Welcome, Virgo. This is Virgo Ascendant, Virgo Moon or Virgo Sun, as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So now you've got Saturn retrograding in your sixth house. This is a really good thing. Uh, this is really great. Because Saturn in the sixth house, you know what that is. He wants to give you good things. He wants to reward you. He wants to help you. But he is retrograding here. And I am factoring in also just the point about Virgo. For you, Virgo, Saturnian energy is actually a malefic energy for you. So I am factoring that into this, this uh, mini reading here. So... But the one beautiful thing about Saturn retrograding in your sixth house is that you've got unhindered Saturnian power to get ahead in your career or to get ahead on your path 
or to get ahead in your service work or to have more clients come in, have more business. This is also a time to put your plans into action. Okay, now Saturn's third aspect on your eighth house of shared assets could be highlighting either hidden agendas of people around you, could also be highlighting the hidden agendas of competition as well. That is another thing because you've got Saturn in the sixth house here, competition is going to be a little bit of a thing. So just make sure that you are only comparing yourself to who you were yesterday and not to everybody else. Okay, so it's fine to, you know, see what competitors are doing and, and to, so that you learn. But if it starts to become something where you're starting to feel bad about your own thing, then don't do that. Don't be, don't be looking at anyone else. But yeah, Saturn's third aspect on your eighth house of shared assets could be highlighting hidden agendas behind people around you or how to restructure your finances and how to restructure any shared finances or shared assets. Now Saturn's seventh aspect on your 12th house of spirituality can bring some discipline to your spiritual self, you know, like um, are you sleeping well, right? And are you meditating regularly? These are two things that you can really get into a fantastic groove here. You can get this going strong. You can get your sleeping routine going good here over these next few months and you can put in a daily spiritual practice of some kind. Okay, so that is something you can really do beautifully across these next few months. Saturn's 10th aspect on your third house of courage. So I'm going to look at courage here. Uh, now this, at times, you might feel that your courage might be dampened. As I say, Virgo, Saturn is a malefic for you and I'm factoring that in in this mini reading. So I've got here, at times your confidence might feel dampened and as well because you've got Saturn sixth from. And even though sixth from, yes, he's rewarding you, he's giving you all this great stuff, he is still a tough energy. And as I say, that competition, comparison, and then the aspect on your sense of courage, right? At times you might feel, yeah, I've got the note here. There are days you, there might be days you compare yourself to others. I've got the note here, keep being you. That's really what Saturn wants you to see here. Some unpleasant stuff might be being brought to the surface about I'm not as good as this person or that person or this. Some of that stuff might be being brought to the surface, but it's being brought for this, to the surface for you to acknowledge it and then let it go. It will dissolve. It will just dissolve and you'll be fine. So this is a real time where you are going to find your groove in so many things, uh, especially discipline of sleeping, daily spiritual practice, meditation, and really get your career path and really get your career path going strong. So, yeah, Virgo, I am, I am excited about this retrograde for you, for these retrograde months. I think you're going to be able to achieve a lot and, and enjoy good discipline. And when that good discipline, when that good structure is in place, you can kind of be on autopilot, you know. <clears throat> then you don't have to think too much because the structure is working very strong. Then whatever thinking energy you have, you can use it to be creative. All right. Well, thank you so much, Virgo. We are now going to welcome Libra. Libra, welcome. Thank you for joining. Now, this is Libra Ascendant, Libra Moon or Libra Sun, as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. <clears throat> right. So for you, you've got Saturn retrograding in your fifth house. This is really nice. This is going to give you possibly some more time to spend on your passion projects or time to spend with your children as well. So if we have any delays, delay energy over the next few months, which is the hallmark of Saturn, right? Every time things go slow or there's delay or, you know, things don't happen on time. Remember that that delay is a gift of time and you can spend that here in your fifth house because that's where Saturn is. So you can enjoy some time here you can enjoy as i say your passion projects or your creativity your art 
or time with your children. Now, if you are uh, in a partnership or you know, we're looking at your romantic life, you might feel that you're being tested in love. Okay, so that could be a thing here. If you aren't seeing anyone, that lack of love, that might, yeah, you might feel that at this time um, quite a bit as well. Uh, Saturn's third aspect on your seventh house of partnerships. Yeah, this is why. Yeah, could be encouraging you to make a commitment or to be in one. Or Saturn could be highlighting the loneliness of life. You know, that is possible here too. Now, one of the things that Saturn is doing in your relationship sector is he is pressing on the weak links in your relationships, okay, in your love life. So he's pressing on the weak links. In that process, some of your buttons are being pushed or your stuff is coming up to the surface. And the way to deal with that is to allow it, to acknowledge it, to look at it, to be with it. It will release, it will dissolve. You know, it's when we resist it or we try to stuff it down or we try to avert it, avoid it. That's when, you know, because it needs release. Is, is what it needs. So just um, let the emotions run through. Now Saturn's seventh aspect on your 11th house of gains can help you pick up new opportunities. Equally, if there are, if there are projects that you've been wanting to do over a long period of time, you say, oh, I've always wanted to do that project. This is the time to start. Okay. Uh, and this is also a good time to put yourself out there. And if you've got social media or any of that, then those platforms can really grow at this time. Saturn's 10th aspect on your second house of finances may help you devise a savings plan so that you diligently put away some money for later. And the other note I have here is be careful of debt um, July and August. It could be that if these expenses go a bit higher, you might be tempted to use a credit card or something like that. And um, yeah, if you need to do that, sure. I, I, I don't know about these things, but what I know is that make sure you pay it off each month and don't allow any debt to accumulate. If you can avoid that, definitely avoid that. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, Libra. We are now going to welcome Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Scorpio Ascendant, Scorpio Moon or Scorpio Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Now Saturn is retrograding in your fourth house and this retrograde might bring up things in your home that need repair or that need your attention. The other thing is that physically this could be draining, this could be tiring. Okay so if you are tired please rest. Okay I, I know what this is. I recently had a 12 from transit myself and I was exhausted and um, I'm actually not let me try and think what kind of am I in it no I'm not in any watery house transit at the moment and every now and then I'm exhausted so you know um, this is this is big advice across the board and I do think some of this is ascension symptoms and you can google ascen ascension symptoms you can google it on youtube or on actual google or DuckDuckGo or whatever you use um, and yeah this is like a thing you know where um, a lot of people are waking up tired a lot of people are doing spiritual work all of that but you you, you really do have <laughs> i'm looking at saturn fourth fourth house right you you've really got a reason here why you're tired so uh, just rest you know and the beauty of Saturn is that see because time is an illusion anyway so don't feel like don't feel the time pressure you know don't, don't feel pressured by time and Saturn always catches people up anyway this is what I've found I've found that you know people who are seemingly like really behind I have seen Saturn just take them right to the front of the queue when he wants to give you something and if if you're meant to have it, you don't you worry, you're gonna get it. So all right, let's take a look here. So Saturn's third aspect on your sixth house of service could bring new clients your way. Uh, it could inspire plans for next steps in career. You might be planning, you might be strategizing how you'd like to take your career, what you'd like to do. 
It could have you comparing yourself with others. So be very careful about that. Don't compare yourself in such a way that it brings you down. Um, compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Only do that, right? That's the only kind of comparison that's going to be productive. But there could be something about you maybe eyeing out the competition or something like that that could be happening. Uh, where you're just learning about maybe you're learning about a career that you want to start and you're learning the different competitors who are there something like that now Saturn's seventh aspect on your 10th house of gains 10th house of gains that is quite interesting can bring pressure to your career I'm just interested in my phrasing of this 10th house of career I really should say but there's something about there being pressure on your career. Scorpio, the other thing I want to say is that you are, yeah, Saturn is a malefic for you. So that's something to factor in a little bit here. I do think when it comes to career, you might be feeling under pressure. Or you might be feeling under pressure to, if you're not working, you might be really feeling pressure that, God, I, I've got to get work, you know. Or there's something where you might have to work hard across this period. It's a tough one because on the one hand you probably do need rest. But then as well, you know, as I mentioned, yeah, there are items in your home that may need repair. And I totally understand this whole thing. Scorpio, this could be really tough here, I know. Because it's like, where's the money coming for the repairs? I totally understand. But just... See if you can let go of everything and just realize that, am I okay today? Am I okay tomorrow? And for some people, they've got enough okayness for about a week or two, right? Some people have got, some of my clients, you know, I, I, I consult with these clients and yeah, some, some clients, they, you know, um, they might have a few months of stability but they're, they're, they're majorly stressed that, you know, what do I do after that? Um, I, I totally understand this. And me, I kind of, I, I relate to it as well. I, I can see about a week or two ahead. You know, that's the kind of time frame when it shrinks to very small uh, increments. I've had life do that to me and, and I know what that is. And what that, what that has done is it has forced me to uh, really go into my spiritual side and my spiritual path. So that's what great difficulty has done for me. But for each one of us is going to be different. But what I can say to you is if you are in a situation where, where things are quite tough, it's really interesting that this conversation is happening because I don't have any notes on this and so maybe somebody needs this in this group. What I want to say to you is just let go, be in the now and feel, am I okay today? Am I okay tomorrow? Am I okay next week? If you've got about that much of okayness, you're going to be fine. You will be fine. And the other thing is trust just trust everything's working out for my highest good this there's some greater wisdom behind this that i don't understand right now it will all make sense later what my job to do is in the now is that i just need to be okay and i need to trust and trust energy is protection it will protect you if you trust trust in the divine trust in the universe trust in god trust in these big unfathomable concepts that our mind cannot comprehend trust in that you will see everything will come good uh, yeah I've got here you might have to work hard across this period so that's for some of you you might be working hard as well now Saturn's 10th aspect on your first house of self will help you restart any fitness routines that you've dropped off or it will help you improve your diet as well. It's a really good idea to clean up your diet because this is your vessel. This is the instrument. God wants to speak to you through this 
uh, physical body of yours, okay? So that's why it's important to clean up your diet because that's intuition, you know, intuition needs a, a good instrument. Scorpio, I am wishing you well. Take care. We are now going to welcome Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Sagittarius Ascendant, Sagittarius Moon or Sagittarius Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. I'm just checking the time. We're all good. Okay. So Saturn is retrograding in your third house and this is beautiful energy. Sag Sagittarius, we, we keep going on about this, don't we? You're in a good phase. Now Saturn is particularly happy. He won't have to look at the sun. The earth's going to be in the middle. This is all good. So you are clear. You are kind of free and clear to just get on with it. And this is about building up contacts, building up your business, building up your courage, building up your health. You know, you are clear to ground new opportunities at this time. You know, make the dreams real, right? This is a good time for you, Sagittarius. Now, Saturn's third aspect on your fifth house of creativity and children could bring you extra time to spend on either your passion projects or time with your children or both. Okay, so when you encounter a delay during this time, that's a gift of time. And you can use that uh, to enjoy yourself. Okay, don't forget that. Don't forget to have a good time. Now Saturn's seventh aspect on your ninth house of foreign travel can bring opportunities to travel. This is wonderful. Go overseas, do a pilgrimage of some kind, do a spiritual retreat, spiritual seminar that's far away. Go somewhere beautiful, do something different. And Saturn's 10th aspect on your 12th house of spirituality will help bring discipline to your sleeping patterns. If you haven't been sleeping well, if you want to get a better sleep routine going, then this is the energy for you. And the other thing that this energy can do is it can help you maintain a good, solid daily meditation practice or daily spiritual practice of some kind. You can nominate, if it's too much time to do 20 minutes of meditation, which they say if it's too much time, then you really need it. But if it's not your thing, you know, maybe you've got a moon Mars connection and it's, you don't like to sit and meditate, then find some kind of simple daily spiritual practice to do. And that could be something like in your journal before you sleep, you write down three things you're grateful for before you sleep. Something just small and quick and easy. But if it's a daily repetitive regular thing that's when it becomes special and that's when it starts to yield some power to you so Sagittarius I'm loving the energy you've got going on here this is all great we are now going to welcome Capricorn Capricorn welcome this is Capricorn ascendant Capricorn moon or Capricorn sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology so you've got Saturn retrograding in your second house. This is helping you build up your finances now. Uh, now I've got the note here, be careful of acquiring debt across July and August. The reason I say that is because Mars Saturn is going to be opposed. And sometimes when it's well, and yes, that is because I am looking at Mars uh, I'm also now just thinking, you know, do I do want to see is Jupiter involved? Because really Jupiter Mars can be the thing. I do just want to check this actually. Let me just have a quick look, Capricorn. My apologies. Well, you're getting some more time here. Are you going to make the other signs jealous? I've had that sometimes in the comments below. People say, oh, you didn't spend enough time on my sign. I'm like, no, I, I did. I try to spend the same time on everyone. All right, let me have a look. It's that it's the Mars Saturn opposition that I'm saying debt could go up. Yeah, look at that. And it's in trying. This is why I said that. It's in trying to Jupiter, and then you got Saturn opposite. I knew there was a reason why I, I thought that. For some signs, I am pointing out that July and August could be a bit expensive you might want to use the credit card or something like that but my guidance here is just know this and if you need to use a credit card you do it or you do whatever you want but like pay it down 
<laughs> okay, so so yeah, I just I've just got the note here. Be careful of acquiring debt across July and August. It may or may not apply. Uh, now Saturn's third aspect on your fourth house of home could get you to make repairs on your home in some way. Um, this is also a really good time for clutter clearing if you haven't done that in a long time or deep cleaning of your place or getting on top of admin house type stuff. This is a good time for that. Saturn's seventh aspect on your eighth house of shared assets can help you organize or restructure any shared assets that you may have. Um, it can also, this aspect can also expose hidden agendas of people around you. You might see something or understand something uh, about somebody. Now Saturn's 10th aspect on your 11th house of gains could bring new opportunities your way or it's providing structure or additional structure for how you bring new opportunities into your life. I realize that's really abstract. What do I mean by that? I mean, this could be, and what are new opportunities? New opportunities, that's new opportunities for business. And I kept thinking, I kept coming up with online ways or, or even if it was something like dating or something like that, you going on a dating app or something along those lines. But yeah, I don't recommend such things. I would never do that. I think those things are just beyond me. I don't know. But, you know, structure for how you bring new opportunities into your life these are some of the structures, right? So that's that's where I was going with that. But Capricorn, especially my Capricorn moons, hang in there. Capricorn moons, you are coming out of your Sadisati period. It's all going to change. You don't have too long to go. And of course, regular Capricorn, I mean, even still, even when it's not Sadisati, I do find that when Saturn is about, you know, passing over your ascendant and coming off your ascendant, that, that can be challenging too. So Capricorn ascendants, if you are having a, a tough time at this time, you know, I, I, can, I can see that. Yeah, it could be kind of across the board for Capricorn that things have been a bit tough, but you're doing amazingly well. And I do think it's the Capricorn people that, uh, I always say this, of everyone in the Zodiac, what we've just gone through these last three years. Wow, it's the big Capricorn energy. So I think you guys would have experienced the most wisdom, the most learning, the most profound transformations, the most, you know, in some ways you guys are gonna be the richest from this time. Capricorn, I wanna thank you so much for being here. We are now gonna welcome Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome. I'm just checking the time, we're all good and the lighting's okay. Uh, Aquarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Now this is Aquarius, Ascendant Aquarius Moon or Aquarius Sun as per the Sidereal Vedic System of Astrology. This is going to be beautiful for you. Saturn is retrograding in your sign, in your first house. Saturn is helping you put some very large new cycles into motion. Okay, And it's helping you to make everything more meaningful and more purposeful in your life. You won't want to fritter away time anymore. There's something about you reshaping your life in such a way that, you know, the time that you invest is going to yield great things over time, over, over, you know, and things take time. You're, you're you know, Saturn in Aquarius, you're putting potentially 30 year cycles into motion right now. That's how big this is. So yeah, everything in your life is being made more meaningful and more purposeful. And I think with this retrograde period, you're going to be far more focused on that. Saturn's third aspect on your third house of courage could make you doubt yourself at times, but your courage is being restructured as well at this time. A new you wants to come forward. Saturn's seventh aspect on your seventh house of partnerships is testing you in love. It's possibly restructuring any partnerships in your life, restructuring your love life, restructuring your heart. Some of that might hurt. Some of that might be difficult, but let the old fall away now. That's really important. Let the old go. And just 
keep going on your path okay keep moving forward really important and Saturn will provide the structure to allow someone the right person to come into your life now Saturn's 10th aspect on your 10th house of career is reshaping your career my goodness this is all going on so again everything Saturn is doing right now is to make your life more meaningful and more purposeful you're dealing with big energies here Aquarius I'm excited for you bear that in mind as you make choices going forward over the next few months just bear in mind that is this meaningful to me is this purposeful to me you know uh, and, and this is a time you're grounding some big dreams here so make every choice count Aquarius all right we are going to welcome Pisces Pisces welcome thank you so much for joining I'm taking the time I'll go quickly and then we're going to wrap up Pisces this is Pisces ascendant Pisces moon or Pisces sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology now Saturn is retrograding in your 12th house yes and especially my Pisces moon people how are you doing with your Sati Sati I hope you're going okay uh, but for, for every Pisces here Saturn is retrograding in that 12th house and he's bringing discipline to your sleep patterns and he's bringing discipline to your spiritual life to your spiritual self so hopefully you're meditating daily hopefully you've got some kind of spiritual daily practice that you do so if you're not meditating maybe you could do something small like just before you sleep each night write down three things you're grateful for and do that every day and it's the daily part of that practice that over time will bring a lot of power into your life it's kind of like compound interest I've got here please take care of your health rest when you need to really really important you've got Saturn passing through watery 12th at times you're just not going to have energy physical energy it just might not be available if that's the case rest and you know that's a really good time to read actually or to study something or you know um, yeah now Saturn's third aspect on your second house of money could be making you spend more um, it might be hard to save but do try we've talked about this before Pisces I've talked about the fact that Rahu and Jupiter are helping you uh, when it comes to saving money so but if you're finding it hard you know why you know it's Saturn's third aspect on your second house so just be mindful of that Saturn's seventh aspect on your sixth house of service could be keeping you busy at this apologies Pisces it's been very scattered today hasn't it but I've updated the battery now oh gosh that's really hot whoa okay I'll put that over there let it cool down what were we talking about I yeah I just wanted to let you know about the money thing this could apply to you I don't have it in the notes here I will just check your chart actually I might as well um, what have we got going on Pisces basically I do think yeah it, it could be the case um, across July and August watch out for you might you might want to use your credit card or something like that you might rack up some credit card debt possibly July August I just want to make people aware of that and say I mean if you have to that's what you have to do but just be conscious and pay it off and you know or now that you know this information maybe you'll be able to save more or put off some expenses to other months September October kind of thing you know and that way you'll be okay so I, I just want to give you a head up on, heads up on that uh, yes so I think I've brought up the point about this is yeah Saturn seventh aspect on your sixth house take care of your health if you're tired rest um, but you will if you're self-employed and you depend on having clients come through and they will come through it will happen it might be slow at times but it, it will happen now Saturn's 10th aspect on your ninth house of authority is getting you to take your power back from society from religious beliefs okay because you've got Saturn in your 12th house this is a spiritual time for you so this is more about your spirituality increasing and this is about you taking your power back as I say from society yes from religious beliefs that restrict your spiritual growth 
if there are any of those. Okay, so some of those will be being highlighted for you at this time and it, you've got the ability to go beyond uh, any limiting beliefs at this time. Also beliefs from family members, any programming, anything we, when we've, we've been programmed. Um, gosh, and that's just made me realize beliefs and programming of the mind, of course, because the third house is mind, you know. So, and where are the beliefs? They're in the ninth. So, yeah, that's, wow, I've just learned something. But I mean, well, not, I, I knew that, but like, you know, sometimes when you chat about these things, things just become more clear. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm learning astrology all the time. Um, right. So let's have a look here. Uh, yes, I've got the note here. You're powering up spiritually, Pisces. You definitely are. This, this is a time where your spiritual riches are going to go high, you know, and, and to the outside world, they won't see that, they won't acknowledge that, they won't understand that. They, they, they don't register that, they don't know what that means, it's far too abstract. But your spiritual riches are going through the roof at this time, really. And, and that's a great thing. You will come out of this transit. You, you, look, you, we come out of any tough transit. Richer, spiritually, emotionally, wisdom, all kinds of things. Uh, and we do become different people. So it's an amazing process. Allow, allow the tough transits to do their thing. I'm just checking for you. Yeah, Saturn is a malefic energy for you. So it, it is, you are being, your mirror is being polished, as Rumi would say. Guys, I want to thank you. We've come to the end of the video and we've got a new battery and a fresh memory card. Isn't that funny? Just when we come to the end, we've got f all this fresh stuff here. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I want to thank you so much for being part of this community. I want to thank you so much for all your likes, shares, comments, everything. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.